What's good? I'm up away, I'm up away, I'm up away. So let's hop right into it, man. A security guard, you know, from Flint, Michigan, you know, lost his life due to a mask, bro. You know, to someone, you know, that is common sense that the law and the government told us that we had to wear masks but once we go into, once we step foot out of our homes, it's mandatory for us to wear masks because we don't know who got the virus and it's protecting you or yourself. So it's a typical day. He working and stuff like that. The family dog probably ain't getting paid nothing, but he trying to take care of his family, do his thing. He trying to do what's right, bro. You know, and he probably spends a regular day, get his money, you know, and go home, bro. You know, bro wasn't thinking about, you know, he... Stop a woman, you know, to let her know, like, man, your child or your daughter should have on a mask. They shouldn't be in the store like that. And this old head, something wrong, like, like this this woman, you know, with the with with the, I don't know what that, bro. She missing a whole scalp of hair on top of her head, bro. You know, get offended, cause she was, cause she ain't got nothing else to do. She ain't got none on her mind. She ain't got nothing productive to do. Just the star stuff. You know, with somebody, then go back to whatever she had. Whether she was at home, went back home, or get, went back to the car and told her some lies, some bullshit, bro. Because when I first heard the story, bro, I knew the first thing I thought of, bro. I'm like, man, it's a woman behind this shit, bro. She go back, start some shit, tell them some such and such said this and such and such did that. Get them hyped up. Know they got a gun on them. Know they, they stupid retarded. They don't know what to do with it, bro. Then they go on there, go back to the store and kill this man, bro. Because somebody, he said, she said, because of some bullshit. Because you know it's mandatory for you to wear a face mask, bro. It's mandatory for you to wear a face mask. You go back home, start some shit, and then come back to the store and have them blow that man in the back of the head. See, they couldn't do it in front of his face. They waited till he turned his back and then shot him in the back of his head, bro. So he just let me know. The dude, it, I, I truly feel that the old man pulled the trick. You know, I might be wrong or nothing like that, man, you know. But the young man was with him. It probably wasn't his gun. This probably the gun. The, the gun probably came from the dude, man. The, the little boy, cause he be doing whatever, whatever in these streets. And I believe that old man pulled that trigger. They waited till he turned his back and pulled that trigger. Vice versa, either one of them, one of them pulled his trigger. Now this man lost his life because of a face mask, bro. A face mask. A two, probably less than five dollar face mask, bro. You killed this man, cause he asked you what the law told you. To wear a face mask, man. You killed this man, bro. This man lost his life, bro, due to a fucking face mask, bro. Bro, how, how sad that this is, bro. And then we want to get mad. We want to get it hyped up. We want to have cries. We want to do eh, Black Lives Matter. Bro, we want to talk about everybody else. But we can't even straighten out the situation in our own backyards, in our own homes, bro. Before... You can talk about anybody else, bro. You got to get on yourself, bro. You got to get on your shit, bro. You got to get on top of you, bro. Because this is wrong. This is foul, bro. Now, it's wrong because I heard it. I, this story didn't have nothing to do with it. But the black man somewhere in Atlanta, he was jogging. And he got shot and killed. You know, and everybody want to protest on that. But don't nobody want to protest on our own people killing each other. Our own people sending each other. Our own people starting stuff with us, bro. Come on, man. Hey, be looking out for part two, man. What y'all think?